it's it's a significant event, you know. These towns have started to shrink, and the people are less and less, and it gets harder and harder to make a quid out of out of farming or out of these smaller towns. And to get to the the landmark of 60 years is a bloody significant one. And so there's going to be a, a lot of things going this year. You know. There's a special spirit in country rugby, a magical quality that sets it apart, where players and supporters are prepared to travel vast distances just to get their weekly rugby fix, where you play hard and celebrate hard, win, lose or draw. This is one of the original jumpers from our rugby union club, and apparently has had this sewn over our original emblem, which was a, a club. We called ourselves the Ace of Clubs. Living out here in the country where sometimes blokes are spending hours upon hours either mustering sheep, drenching sheep or on their tractors, it's important for them to have that social contact. We didn't win a lot of football, but we had a bloody good time doing it. And the great John White, arguably the best loose head prop Australia has ever produced, recalls the day he played against the All Blacks at Warren. Well, this is Victoria Park at Warren, where we, in 1957, the combined Central West, Far West team played the All Blacks. Well, the country rugby's always had a, had a great uh, team spirit, uh, and being country boys, we're always considered the uh, second cousins to, to the city blokes. Teams are battling as we speak to make numbers to keep the competition going, but uh, that gives with all sport out here in the West, and rugby's not insulated from what's happening across the, the economy and the, the farming community. There's just not the bodies out here that there used to be. We got to the stage where we just couldn't source players. We've been down and out and uh, flat on our back. We've, uh, we've gone from the bottom and, and we're headed to the top in 2014.